Now, now here's the question. Would you be clapping if I would have missed those three free throws? Uh, I would have been getting some pews, I think. I'm not sure. Second left. Oh, he got and fouled. He, he got fouled. Peterson fouled him. The senior will go to the line. He'll get three free throws. No time left on the clock. Only has to make one for the win. Senior, the senior, what an end to this ball game. An unbelievable foul by Peterson with no time on the arm. For the win. Yes! What a way for Ryan to end his career at the Thrill House. He makes the free throw. It ends the ball game. KU wins. Kansas 67, Oklahoma State 66. And what a way for Ryan Robertson to close it out. What a, what a ball game. Just an unbelievable game. ESPN got their money's worth here tonight. Uh, Oh, this is Ryan Robertson. He's from Oklahoma. He's he's going to St. Charles West. <laughs> so a little less. Uh, I'll definitely be at St. Charles West the next four years. So that brings us to uh, St. Charles West. Uh, obviously, the greatest player in the history of that storied program. But you played for a Hall of Fame coach in Terry Hollander. Uh, what did he mean to your development as a as a great player at St. Charles West? Yeah, he's uh, he's here tonight. Yes. So basketball for me was never more fun than than my four years in high school. Um, my wife is here tonight, and she was my high school sweetheart. My dad uh, was the assistant coach on our state championship team. Coach Hollander was our Hall of Fame coach. My brother played on that team. who then played at St. Louis U. And so those four years were just about as much fun as I ever had on a basketball court. And then it, it kind of capped off with the state championship in my senior year. Of course, that state championship, I remember I was at that game at the Hearn Center. You beat Fashan, but you were trailing late in the game and you hit three big three-pointers. What was the feeling? First, winning a state championship and then taking over the game in the fourth quarter like that and on such a big stage. You know, I've heard everybody tonight talk kind of just about the competitive nature that everybody has. And for me, um, you know, it just it, it was a game. It was a normal, regular game and it got late and... The, my competitive juices sort of took over and I kind of, I know athletes talk about this all the time, but in that last five minutes or so, I just sort of got into a, a zone and it wasn't really a, a matter of, you know, what, how big the game it was. It was just a regular basketball game at that point. And so was able to hit a few threes there down the end and we were able to pull it out. But again, one of the greatest accomplishments that uh, I ever had on a basketball court was that state championship. Being that you and your brother Troy are a year apart, you got a chance to play varsity basketball with each other. For three years, three years, you're a year ahead of him. How special was that to win a state championship but do it with your brother Troy? Yeah, it was, it was uh, the most fun for my family, as you can imagine. And not only those three years, but even years after that, playing together and pickup games. And we, we want, we've won like 10 consecutive church leagues at Calvary Church in St. Charles. And, Mangers. Yeah, Mangers. It's, it's four on four on carpet, and Troy and I and a couple of people from our church group play, but it doesn't really matter. And, um, you know, Troy and I can just look at each other and sort of know what we're going to do, and we can go back court. We can